So it's story time. And if you saw my tweet this morning, you would know that I have got quite a few dinosaur books, which is why I included an extra story time in, on yesterday's vlog. And today we are going to try and fit two story stories into story time today. Now, I can only record for so long on YouTube, so we might have to split the videos. We'll have to see. Um, I'll keep an eye on the time. Okay, so we're going to start off because I just want to include as many dinosaur stories as possible and nobody wants to waste good books, do they? We've got to share them as much as possible. And I know that when we're in class, you know, you ask me to read the stories and we always say, you know, can we read another one? Can we read another one? And sometimes we don't have time and at least this way I can share them with you. So we've got to make the best of these situations, find the silver lining, you know, in... In, in the clouds, that's an expression. Every cloud has a silver lining, so even when there's something that's uh, not so good, like us not being able to all be together right now, you can find the good parts of it, like this is a good way I can get to share lots of stories with you. So, here we go. This one is called Little Rex. What kind of dinosaur do you think he is? You should be able to figure that one out. So, this one is by Ruth Symes and Sean Julian. And on the back, on the blurb, it says, I'm not big, I'm not little, oh, silly me, I'm not little, I'm big. Rex wants to be the biggest, scariest, loudest dinosaur in the whole world, but everyone keeps calling him Little Rex. Well, perhaps not quite everyone. Let's see. Look at this lovely picture. I love these illustrations. So, Rex was the scariest dinosaur in the whole world. There he is. He had the pointiest of pointy teeth, the sharpest of sharp claws, and the loudest of loud roars. Roar! We're not actually quite sure what T Rexes sounded like, but anyway. Better watch out when Rex is about, Rex growled fiercely to his reflection in the lake one day. So just like you can see your reflection in a mirror if you look in water, as long as it's clear enough and calm enough, you know, it won't work if it's super like, like that, you can see your reflection. You'll have to do better than that if you want to scare us, said his friend Spiky and Three Horns coming up behind him. So here we go. Do you, can you work out which dinosaurs they are, what type they are? This one and this one. Hmm. I think that one is a Stegosaurus and that one's a Triceratops. Dear little Rex, we love you, said Rex's mum and dad, who were looking after the eggs nearby. There we go. I'm not little, I'm big, shouted Rex. Just you wait, I'll show you. Rex's Auntie Fang and Uncle Claw were wading in the mud when suddenly, I'm a mud monster and I'll eat you, growled the meanest mud monster in the whole world. It's Rex. Be careful, you don't get mud in your eyes, Rex, said Auntie Fang. You're such a funny little Tyrannosaurus, said Uncle Claw. I'm not little, snapped Rex. I'm big and scary. <clears throat> oh dear. That afternoon, Spiky and Three Horns were having a jumping competition. Rex ran as fast as he could and he jumped as high as he could. He was the wildest jumping dinosaur in the whole world, but his pointy teeth got caught on an overhanging tree branch. Oh, wow! You're too little to jump over that high branch, said Spiky. Ouch, I think that would hurt. I'm not little, I'm big, shouted Rex. But Spiky and Three Horns couldn't understand him because his pointy teeth were stuck in the branch. So it was more like, I'm not little, I'm big. Just like that, really. Rex's mum and dad were looking after the eggs when there was a mighty roar from the bush beside them. Ah, oh, there you are, Rex. Will you look after the eggs while we go for a swim? Asked Rex's mum. I don't think they were scared, do you? 
Rex liked looking after the eggs. It was a very important job. OK, he said, but did I scare you? Say I scared you. We were terrified, says Rex's dad, smiling. Dear little Rex, we love you, said Rex's mum. We'll be back soon. I'm not little, I'm big, called Rex. I think he's getting very annoyed, but he does love a good hug. Rex lay down next to the eggs. It was steamy hot and he soon started to feel very sleepy. Tip tap, tip tap. Rex opened one eye and looked left and then he opened the other eye and looked right. What could that noise be? What do you think the noise is, Toucan? Rex looked up and Rex looked down. Up, down. Tip, tip, tap, 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 tip, tip, tip. Tippity, tappity, tappity, tippity. More tips and more taps, more taps and more tips. <gasps> and suddenly Rex knew just what all those tips and taps must be. Ooh. <gasps> Baby dinosaurs hatching. <gasps> Tip tap pop went the first egg. Tip tap crack went the second egg. Tip tap ping went the third. Rex was so excited. Hello, 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 he said. Look at the baby dinosaur, so cute. But as soon as the baby dinosaurs saw Rex, they tried to jump back into their shells. Help! He's so big! I'm so scared! Oh! Ah! They're scared. Don't be scared, I'm not big, I'm little, Rex said. Rex didn't want to be the biggest, scariest, loudest dinosaur anymore. All Rex wanted to be was the best dinosaur brother in the whole world. Look at the little big dinosaurs. And he was. Oh, there we go, the end. So... I hope you enjoyed that story about Rex. So it's okay sometimes to be little. I wouldn't hurry up to be big. There's so many things to enjoy when you're small. So much fun to be had. Now, let's see if we can fit this one in as well. So this is little Rex and the big roar. So we're carrying on with the adventures of Rex. He's super cute, I think. Rex liked to stomp and Rex liked to show his pointiest of pointy teeth and waggle his sharpest of sharp claws. But most of all, Rex liked to roar. Can you roar? Can you do a good roar like a dinosaur? Too loud, said Rex's mum. Too loud, said Rex's dad. Again, 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 squeaked Rex's baby brothers and sisters. Oh, look, there they are, the little babies that are starting to grow up. As they waggled their baby dinosaur claws in the air. Oh, so cute. <laughs> look at him. Him roaring away. My finger got lost for a second. <laughs> Rex tried to roar quietly. Rawr! But it was very hard not to get louder. Rawr! And then louder still. Rawr, rawr, rawr! Too loud, says Rex's mum. Too loud, said Rex's dad. More, 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 squeaked ba Rex's baby brothers and sisters. Oh, look, they look like they're having a nice time in the water, don't they? Looks pretty fun there. It's time for the baby's nap, said Rex's mum. No more roaring now, little Rex. So Rex went to play with his friends. Oh, look, they're all snoozy off their little nap. So cute. And there are his friends are up there. Rex's friends, Three Horns and Spiky, were playing on the mudslide. Make way for Rex the mud monster, Rex shouted as he climbed to the top. <gasps> Look, wow, would you like to go down a mudslide? Woo, messy but fun. From the top of the mudslide, Rex could see his mum and dad and his baby brothers and sister. <gasps> Look, we're right at the top. We can look down. And what else can you see? can see quite a lot of things down there. Look at me, Rex called to them, but Rex's mum and dad and the baby dinosaurs were all snoozing. Snoozy time. 
<gasps> then Rex saw a pterodactyl flying towards the baby dinosaurs. <gasps> what do you think the pterodactyl might do to the baby dinosaurs? He had to do something. There they are all asleep, not knowing, not realising. Rex slid down the mudside zoom, and ran faster than he'd ever run before. Dun, 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 Just as the pterodactyl was about to pounce on the baby dinosaurs, ah! Rex gave his biggest, his loudest and his fiercest roar ever. Roar! And the pterodactyl flew away as fast as he could. Ah! That is a frightened pterodactyl. Yikes. Too loud, says Rex's mum and dad, waking up suddenly. But then they realised what had happened. You saved us, Rex, squeaked the baby dinosaurs as they waggled their baby dinosaur claws in the air. Oh, look, they're like, oh, you saved us. What a good big brother. Rex was a hero. All the baby dinosaurs wanted to learn to roar just like Rex. And they did. Oh my goodness, look at mum and dad are covering their ears. Raw, 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 raw. So much roaring. Wow, that would be noisy with all those small and getting bigger T Rexes roaring away. Now, can you do a good roar? I bet you can. Bye.